This is the basket called the Kintef. These are a traditional West Walian farm basket. Um, many cultures actually across Northern Europe will make some sort of frame basket. It's called a frame basket because it's made on a frame. And the frame in this instance is this round hoop and these first four ribs. And traditionally this hoop was cut from the hedgerow with material that grows wild in the hedgerow. It would then be dried um, over the winter in a barn. It might be put around a cartwheel, it might be put around a water butt, um, so anything that was circular basically to make this shape. These four ribs were probably a refinement, um, but if you look at the side of the basket, you can see that it allows the basket to sit flat on the floor, so your potatoes or, or whatever you're gathering don't um, fall out. And they're made from, um, the ribs are made from hefty round willow, like this. Um, again, this would be hedgerow material, so what they'd be taken out of the hedgerow, hazel or willow, then it's split like this into half and then you refine that into these beautiful ribs um, so that you get the um, the lovely white on the inside i guess when you you look at the size and weight of the basket um, you would need to take these down to half because they would be too, it would just be too heavy to leave the whole the whole thing um, so that you would then weave it from one end to the other, this end, then this end, meeting in the center, using again any of the materials. So this is all my homegrown homegrown willow here. And the idea is that they fit inside each other for easy storage. So this this basket recipe was passed down from um the last person that we we know making them in Wales was called DJ Davis. He was based at St Fagans, he was the groundsman at St Fagans and he taught two gentlemen, one called Marvin Morgan and one called Les Llewellyn and I was lucky enough to um, be awarded a bursary to work with Les Llewellyn to learn the whole process of this, literally from going out in the woods to gather the materials and then learning each step of the basket, refining it, um, you know, learning it really, really thoroughly. And then I did quite a bit of research linked in with that as well. So research is really important in my, um, to me as well. And um, this isn't the only Welsh basket I make. Um, this one is the Penclaws Cockle Basket. Uh, this is a hazel basket. Um, and hazel is a is a different animal altogether. If you see, this is still a split weaver, still a frame basket, um, but you have to take each layer off a hazel rod, not like this, to be able to weave. There's a special process. Um, but the Penclaws cockle basket um, hadn't been made, as far as we know, since the 1960s. Um, and I worked with the Gower Landscape Partnership um, and also had a Basket Makers Association small grant um, in order to revive that, research it, and then teach it to um, other students. So hopefully this is safe now. Um, so that's a, another Welsh basket.